surprised to see us. <laughs> adulty things to do. We are headed to um, the storage unit where we drop some stuff off that we didn't want to take with us to Mexico just in case the worst happened. I don't even know what the worst would be but um, sentimental stuff things like uh, and then things that we couldn't bring over like our cactus plant. I hope our cactus plant is still alive. Um, and then we have to go to where we stored the juke. We did not store them at the same place, um, which actually turned out good because uh, <laughs> El Centro got like a flood right before we left, which you can see on Carolyn's RV Lives channel. Um, and some of those cars at that storage unit were like underwater, so probably a good thing that we didn't store it there, but we will see because this place was a bit sketch mm -hmm. and so we'll see if the car is even there honestly if it's not there we wouldn't be heartbroken <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh my God. What the? What the heck? Wow. Weird. It did weird things, the cactus. So we just left the storage, um, said goodbye to Carolyn, oh my gosh, and Sadie, it was so sad. We're gonna miss them so much. Great. Now we're on the way to go get the juke out of pawn, not really out of pawn. Like I was so excited to come back to America and now I'm like here, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like in Baja, there is one road. You take one road, there's not a lot of thought to it. You keep exploring that the towns along that one road and then turn around and come back. Yeah, too many options. You walk into a Walmart and it's like all the options. What do I pick? I don't know, you tell me. There weren't a lot of options in Mexico, but they weren't necessarily out of anything either. Like our specific things, like our specific, like, um, you know, things that we want. Um, but are we, are we being too loud? Are we being too loud, Pammy? Now she's gonna sniff the edge. Um, yeah, but like they're not like out of things and you just pick up what you need like shopping takes no time at all you're in and out in like 20 minutes there's nothing in the grocery store other than what you basically what you need right but here so much choice so many roads so many states um so that's pretty funny we're not quite sure where we're gonna go when we were kind of talking about coming back i was like oh i want to go to the hot springs and an island and to Bombay Beach, but um, I don't know. We need to dump and get water and stuff. Maybe we can do that in Yuma. I'd love to pick up Dutch Bros. Yeah. Yum. Um, and we have some more little grocery items to get. We may just be heading east, but eventually we have to go north because we have to go back to Washington State. But we also need to 
like do stuff for the rig too. Like we need an oil change. We need to find out what this squeaky sound is and the um, and the shocks in the back, and the leaves. Oh my God! I almost forgot we have to go to the post office. chaos at the Walmart. Um, we decided to split up. We got Pam food, which was like super expensive. We got 14 cans of the little Tiki cats and a small bag of world's best cat litter, $45. We went to go pick up our mail and our second mail shipment was up there. Um, and even though I requested it in the app, our mail forwarder did not include a tracking number. So we have no idea where it is. Our second mail shipment has our tabs in it for the juke. Um, so we need it to be able to drive it. And it's not there and I don't know where it is. And I called the place that forwards our mail and the lady's like, I don't know, I just started here, which like, <laughs> okay. So she was like, call back Monday or Tuesday. So we're staying at the MPM LTVA in Yuma because we have to, because of course we're waiting on our mail. Always. All right, let me get to shopping. I have hummus, some non-dipper things that are really good for the hummus jalapeno honey goat cheese, but I need crackers and then I need other things. All right.
little writer. Hi. <laughs> Trying to get better. Hi. Look how cute you are. Look at your curly little tail. <laughs> He's got the double curl. Oh my gosh, you're oh, so cute. Prancer. I know. Look at you. Yeah. That's right. Pupil iris. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at this. How beautiful that is. Perfect morning here in Quartzsite. Splash all over you. Hi, RJ, buddy. Look at your little, yeah. look at you. Look at this. I can't even get you in the frame. <laughs> Wait, look at this. Are you making friends? Are you making friends? Oh, and so he's like, fine. He's like, fine, I'll chew on this. So you'll find little pieces of wood all over your rug. Nice. Perfect. Nice. I love it. <laughs> okay. Look at this. Look at this happy tail. Happy mm -hmm. tail. Yeah, but it's a bit of a baseball bat, so watch out you're not in this path. <laughs> yeah, here, I'll put this right there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I can't even kisses. see Aaron's head. <laughs> Look how big he is. Look how big he is. He's just a big old He's sweetheart. Big He's a big old sweetheart. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'll shoot the puppies. See, that's a cover photo for a... Hunting and hunting Whoa! Oh, you lost him. RJ, he, he says, okay, go around with my bush. I'm over here. He's over here. He went over here. Guys, he's over here. It really is. Really and different. I don't remember where that flowering cactus was. I think it was more that way. But, okay, we can. and the squiggle in the sky together. I have some good cardboard that I was able to put in there. This is a massive fire cat. I know, God, <laughs> we're gonna have to move back. It's, it's not quite as big as the, our fire in Ehrenberg. <laughs> yeah, that was a big fire. Again, I can't wait to come back.